Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plasters. Today what I'm going to show you guys is um, a flashing. There are a lot of alternative ways to do this flashing here. What we do is, this particular house is 90 years old and it's had about five or six additions in the last 90 years put on it. What we try to do is, we look at what we got, we try to improvise and adapt the best solution for what they have. Now, the homeowner, he's hired me and he's kind of doing all the uh, GC work, general construction, so he says he'll do all this, but we got the flashing, which is four and four, put it on here and it kind of was cockeyed like so. So what we did is, I said, let me handle this part. Uh, rather than use a drip screed, which we generally will count a flashing here, I figured, because he may need to change this torch down at some time, what we did is, I went to a couple of material yards and I finally ended up, because Home Depot, um, my material yards, West Side, they don't sell this zinc flashing. So, what we are going to do is, we're putting this flash in here, which has a beveled edge, a 45 degree. So, when you put it on the wall, it slants down. And so, this guy is going to go over this here. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop a couple nails in this. Uh, got it right where I want it, put it there, pop one there, just for the sake of having that done. Now generally, what fellows like me will do is, we'll counter that flashing with a drip screen, like so. However, because he's not sure of the roof, and, and that roof there, that's another story, we won't even get into that. Okay, because he's not sure of the roof, I said, well, if you're not sure, what I'll do is I'll come in with the Z flashing. So this Z flashing is gonna go right here. Now this allows him to go underneath this. You can, you can kind of work under here and do a, a little bit of extra stuff if you want to. If you're not certain of, as far as, well, gee, I'm, later on I might put another flashing here or change the roof, I'm, we use this one here. And by the way, I told Dan, grab me a couple nails said, pick up the bag that I got. He said, what are the rules to even nails? And I said, actually, there are. Show me a nail, I'll tell you what it's primarily designed for. This 50, 100 different nails. The nails we're going to put into the roof here are, um, they have a head on it. And not only that, they have ridges here so it doesn't come out. And I hate to do this for this fella here. And I'm just doing him a favor because he's not sure how to do this. I don't want to just put a regular nail in here, 16 penny or so, because over the years it'll come back up. If it has this uh, little ridge on here, uh, plus it has a wide head, it'll hold this. So we can we can put a nail in here, like so. Now that, I'm gonna put a couple more here. Now that roof, this nail right here, the bigger head is designed so it won't rupture through, and more importantly, the shank, so it won't come up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and counter flash this flashing with a Z flashing. We don't use, I don't normally do this, so that's why I'm pointing it out because uh, it can be done this way if you're not certain about things. Now here, this gives this guy some play, wiggle room, what we call. Now, this fella says, gee, Kirk, I want to change this in 20, 30 years. You can do so without too much work. If I put the screed here, then it's a lot of work. You have to break out the stucco. I'm trying to do it so he doesn't have to break out the stucco. Okay, now that we have this here, we're going to paper as usual. Um, he's got a lot of odd stuff here. So we're improvising with a lot of odd stuff, and it's not the first time, and it's certainly not going to be the last time. So our new paper is going to go right on top of here. Our wire is going to go on top of here, and all I'm doing is just trying to make life easier for this fella because we have a lot of these roofs and a lot of unknowns as far as what he's gonna do with it. Anyhow, this is just another way you can do it. There's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm gonna get busy. It's real hot right now. It's flashing is red hot to touch it in the hot sun. Anyhow, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.